Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody back with another episode of TLC Trash Fire. Thanks for joining me. So as you know, by now, hopefully, 90 Day Fiance Season 10 has come to a close, but that's okay. It's okay to say bye-bye. Unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of the same couples on this new season of Happily Ever After. We've got Gino and Jasmine yet again, and I'm sure many of you saw me express my frustrations in the community tab. One of the first clips of Gino and Jasmine at least featured on this episode was a preview of what's supposed to happen later, and we got a really good high-def 4K clip of Jasmine licking and sucking on Gino's toes. I love your face so much. Oh, yeah. Now, after I passed out, I woke up, and then I threw up all over myself. Just kidding. But it was disgusting. It seems like the show is going in the direction of more shock value as well as some adult material. It, it, it honestly looked like softcore to me. I don't know what it looked like to you, but it was pretty gross. We might have to cover it, unfortunately. I know that I made a pledge to not cover Gino and Jasmine, but she's sucking this guy's toes. I don't know what else to tell you. I want to get into the kind of interesting spot we're in with Sophie and Rob, which is this series is called Happily Ever After, but they're kind of doing a single life thing. Rob and Sophie appear to be broken up. They're at the very least separated. They're not living together anymore. And between the tell-all and the release of this first episode of Happily Ever After, the new season, some interesting things have come to light. First of all, all of this is just rumors and things of that nature. But apparently... Rob, allegedly, let's say this, allegedly, Rob may have an OnlyFans. And I believe he is, he could be, an adult filmmaker or uh, kind of like a OnlyFans model or maybe a cam model or something along those lines. So over the weekend, I saw some photo evidence of Rob posting some pictures we didn't see his face, but there were some Redditors who did some investigations to line up his hair, body type, mole on his finger, all this stuff. People were looking at this stuff very closely, and there were some photos of supposedly, allegedly, right? I'm not going to say it is him, but people were saying it was him, okay? I'm not saying that. That's what people were saying, but of him doing some uh, adult things that kind of go against what usually a straight man would be doing, I would say. So, all hypothetical, all allegedly, I'm not slandering. Until this is proved without a shadow of a doubt, we can just call it a rumor. But that is the Rob news I have. So, why are we here today? We're going to cover... The first Rob and Sophie segment, and uh, it gets interesting. It gets interesting just right off the bat. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the intro. Before we get started reviewing this new episode of Happily Ever After, make sure to like today's video, comment something below as the video goes on so you can continue the conversation, and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. You're welcome here anytime. No, no. My I home is it. your home. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I think that's her girlfriend. It's got to be. Because it's interesting. They just got married, her and Rom. But she moved to Austin to live with her. This, this, this friend, best friend. My name is Sophie. I'm 24 years old. I'm from London. And I was living in LA for a bit. Look at this. I know that girls are, you know, they can be cuddly with each other, but this looks like they're they're more than friends, for sure. And Sophie looks a lot happier with her than with Rob, because whenever she's with Rob, they're fighting, so maybe Sophie 
could possibly leave Rob for her. I don't know. We're gonna find out, though. But now I live in Austin with my best friend Kay for the last two months. Best the friend. The first year of being married has not really gone how I expected it to go. <laughs> yeah, you're separated from your husband and you're living with a woman and sleeping in her bed. <laughs> That's not... Yeah. The, the, the marriage with Rob is just a sham. Let's just keep it real. Obviously, like, I didn't move here with the intention of, like, not working things out with Rob. So it's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's just been a lot and it's unfortunate it hasn't worked out how I wanted it to. It's still weird for me to like not live with my husband. Yeah, you're living with your girlfriend. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> it just goes to show that the relationship is, is just, just call it quits, man. Like, you, you just got married and you're already separated? That is crazy. That is crazy. That's like, you're kind of doing it for a green car at that point. I'm not hating on Sophie, I just think it's weird. Like, if you're gonna get married and she keeps talking about how she wants to work through all these issues with Rob, then why is she immediately going to move out and start living with a woman? My husband Rob was someone I met online on social media. I thought he was cute and I guess he thought I was cute. After I ended that- See, this is what I'm talking about. What, what's he, where are these photos? Why is he posting thirst traps like this? It's just, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of sus. It's kind of sus. No judgment at all. Zero. You guys know me. But I'm just saying, for a, a super straight guy like Rob pretends to be, come on. Cool. Um, I was kind of just like, oh my God, like this is, this is the guy I want to be with. I felt like I found the guy I'd been looking for the whole time and just felt like this is it. This is who I'm going to end up with, which is insane. I love you, baby. What attracted me to Rob initially was our love of animals. I actually had a lot of pets growing up. I had like 10 turtles. I had, is that her in the photo? I had two dogs, I had multiple cats. I had just a bunch of animals. Oh, I had rabbits as well. His love of animals is slightly different. Like he likes weird creatures, but I just loved it. It was really nice. We have so much in common. We both love food, just eating food. Um, another thing we like is drinking water. We like to um, breathe oxygen, which is just crazy. I've never met someone that, we just had so much in common, you know? We both like animals. Some, some of the animals are pretty cool. Rob likes some weird animals. I like some normal animals. We both like going to the bathroom sometimes. Sometimes we have to go to the bathroom. I've just never met someone that I've had so much in common with before. And then after that, I came up with the idea for us to do the K-1 visa so that we could actually be together. So you could come to America, you mean? It was approved. <laughs> no hate again. Rob is a knob. So maybe initially she did want to be together with him, but yeah, this is what it's turned into. It's turned into something kind of sketch now. Approved shortly after I realized that he wasn't the person I had been imagining the whole time. Oh, you like that? Yeah, that's better. I'm 33 years old. I'm originally from Kansas City, Missouri, uh, currently living in Austin, Texas. I'm married to Sophie, at least um, for now. <laughs> at least on paper. But we are completely separated and living separate lives. And she has a girlfriend now, so. <laughs> Sophie and I met online through um, just social media. I thought she was beautiful and I told her, I'm, I'm gonna basically marry you. Sophie's personality really struck me as different. I feel like Rob is more into himself than his girl. I mean, look at the photos. He's looking at himself in the mirror like, I'm a tasty mother at this. He's looking at himself like, damn, I look good. Damn, I look good. She wanted to get to know me in a sincere way. That just made me fall even that much harder for her. And then Sophie came to America on a K-1 visa with this deadline to get married, which was very stressful. And I think that just made it really hard on us those that first 90 days. 
I think Rob should just be single, man, and just do what he wants to do. But I don't think that he's cut out for a relationship, obviously. Because he gets bored fast, he's very vain, and he obviously wants to have a good time, but he has issues with possession, and he wants some arm candy so he looks better for people who perceive him. They see him, you know, good-looking guys in shape, this and that, and he wants a partner to match that. Sophie's, you know, thick, got curves, everything, she's pretty, so it makes sense why he wants a partner but it's like at the same time he's not cut out for that though so i think for him to be truly happy he should just do whatever he wants to do because he's too selfish to be in a committed relationship but just a few months after we moved um the fighting continued and sophie decided to go move out and live with her new best friend in austin this girl Kay. it's like at the end of the day the 90 days it worked against us more than you could ever know like, it wasn't enough time to understand where we were. It wasn't enough time to be sure about where we were. So yeah. we have 90 days to figure it all out. And this is the last thing I expected was that I was going to get married. And in our first year together, she wouldn't be living with me. It doesn't sound like you guys are married, in my eyes. No, they're not. They're not married. They're separated. <laughs> and she's living with a woman, sleeping in the bed with her. I haven't seen my wife in two months. That is crazy. That is crazy. I mean, we knew it, but damn, just to hear it, it's just it's just wild. Imagine being separated that long. That it's 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 over. It's over at that point pretty much. Unless there's a reason like for work or something. But if it's just like you just can't live with each other and you can't stand each other, just call it. Just call it already. Just feel like everything's just been really overwhelming. Like, not just getting married, but, like, moving to a new country. I can only imagine. And it's like, you know, obviously when people get married, like, they expect, like, you know, everything works out. And I was kind of hoping that, like, moving here would be a fresh start for us. I don't know. I was just hoping for this to, like, change things for us. But I just feel, if anything, it made it worse. Yeah. I tried to put Rob's cheating behind me, but shortly after I moved to Austin, I saw that he had got this text from some random girl. So I figured out a way to get into Rob's social media to find out what was really going on. Um, and that's how I found out that he was actually talking to, like, way more girls than he had admitted to. So he lied to me about the extent of his online cheating. That's what I'm saying. He can't be in a committed relationship. He can't be in a committed relationship. He's not cut out for it, at least right now, maybe later, but he he just wants to have some fun, and he shouldn't drag people into that if they don't know what's going on. He should just have casual partners that know what's going on, which is he likes to sleep around, he likes to flirt, you know? There's a lot of people that live like that, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just don't drag somebody into a situation saying you want to be their husband, and and loyal and all this stuff and you're not and like the thing is is like how do we know he's not gonna do it again yeah i mean that's the thing like i don't know that what do you think about her friends yeah she's got this one friend Kay, that is kind of like the bane of my existence she's just ruining our relationship i feel like and that's the girl she lives with have you seen Kay? yeah in person yeah i met Kay a few times and every time i meet her she's all right you should be out with us more often, Rob. This and that. All positive, all happy-go-lucky, but yeah. then I know that she doesn't respect our marriage. She doesn't respect me. So it's like, that's, that's who's in her ear all the time. So it's definitely not helping our relationship whatsoever. And, bro, to be honest, I am thinking that, are you this girl? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, and if that's going on, then I'm really disappointed that Sophie's even disappointing Rob anymore. Just have an open thing. <laughs> Just call it what it is. We're doing this for the K-1. We like to see each other sometimes, but just, you know, maybe that is maybe that is what they're doing. I don't know. But, yeah, Sophie living with K and sleeping in the same bed and all that, it just, it just looks kind of weird, honestly. Like, are y'all in a relationship? You Seems think she's like a lesbian? It. 
I mean, she said she was bisexual, but she had Ooh, never wait, looked Wait, K or, K or Sophie? Sophie. Sophie. When and honestly, I feel, like, I feel like K's Wait, wait you got to rewind. When did you find this out? Bro, I found out right before we got married that Sophie was into women, but she would never actually explored it. How did... How... Sounds bad. Sounds bad. <laughs> they get married, she immediately goes to live with a woman. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I don't know why I have anxiety. <clears throat> to tell you something. I don't know. There's nothing bad. I mean, what is There's it? There's nothing I want you to worry about. I'm bye. I'm bye. Bye bye, Rob. I'm bye. Bye bye, Rob. Yeah. Bye, Rob. I'm gonna go live with a woman. I'm bye. I'm bisexual. <laughs> you have to remember, like, this is your life, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I just. It's just hard for me because it's like this isn't how it's meant to be, mm -hmm. you know? And I just like really want things to work out, yeah. you know? But it's like I don't even live with my husband. I live here, you know? I know. And I'm taking care of you better than he is. Oh, God. They're sleeping together. That That's, that's it, it's got to be. It's got to be. But Sophie's a massive hypocrite if that's the case. So. But, yeah, this seems, this seems weird. And I. Who, who's like, I'm taking care of you better than your man and all this stuff. This is like, this is her girlfriend. Just call it what it is. I think the show would be a lot more exciting if they just called it what it is. Like, Sophie's moved out. She's got a girlfriend now. Like, that show would be way wilder instead of them trying to tiptoe around this concept. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I take care of you more than him, literally. What does that mean? Let's see that again. <laughs> I don't even live with my husband. I live here, you know? I know, and I'm taking care of you better than he is. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah, there's, they're having sex. <laughs> so guys, with that, <laughs> we're at time. Make sure to comment below do you think that Sophie's having sex with Kay, or that they're in a relationship? I think Rob is asking some very good questions here. And, uh, yeah, just let me know your thoughts on today's video. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Why? Um, and, of course, this episode's very long. There's several other segments. There's more Rob and Sophie segments. There's some other segments of the other couples. So don't worry. We're going to get right into it. But this was just the first interesting segment that caught my eye. And, of course, I wanted to give you that background info about Rob's possible uh, adult content that's floating around out there. So there's a lot of interesting bisexual things happening right now involving rob and sophie and uh it's just very uh very interesting no judgments no judgments whatsoever but it's my job on this channel to talk about the show and i just wanted to bring you the late the latest gossip so make sure to uh continue the conversations in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already Please like today's video, and of course, a big shout out, a big thank you to all of our members. We now have a member thank you segment at the end of the episode, so if you become a member, you will be added to that. It's only five bucks a month. I also have a new Buy Me a Coffee page, which is only five dollars as well, so if you don't want to become a YouTube member... You could just buy me a coffee. It's on, uh, I'll try to put it in every video description, but it's on the main page under the about me. But I think it's just buymeacoffee.com slash TLC trash fire. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description below. So guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure to have a great rest of your day or evening or morning. And I will see you shortly in the next video. Bye-bye.